Hello and welcome back to your daily dose of Minecraft. We now have 16 new types of coloured candles. And for those who like to build in the desert, our first build hack will be great for you. You can now create flowering cacti by just pasting pink candles on top. This looks great and it's so simple to do, anyone can do it. If done right, this could look amazing in any base, yet alone biome. Staying on the candle theme, we can now make some pretty cool looking swords. By just using an end rod and a black candle, we can make a pretty believable looking sword design. We can also take this further by throwing in a dragon skull, and just like that we have a trophy that anyone would be proud of. Super simple to do, yet again, as it's just an end rod and a candle. Lightning rods don't just bring their awesome functionality of turning thunder into redstone energy, while saving your base from burning down to the ground, it also looks pretty cool too. Especially in this next builder hack, as we make a very nice looking hanging bell or hanging anything really design right outside your house or home. This one has endless potentials and it's not just limited to the bell, they could be used for many different things. But I think the bell is a good one to show off. Again, super simple, all you need to do is just place the end rod and then the bell. There's no real trickery to it, it's just this is a cool combo we can now do in the new update. However, lightning rods aren't just for hanging things though. We can also use them to make a makeshift piping system. This one is huge if you're making a steampunk or industrial build. I think it just looks awesome and if done right, it can drastically improve any build. Again, super quick, super easy, anyone can do this one. If you're enjoying the video so far, please make sure to leave a like and comment. It would be awesome if this video could get 150 likes. And if you want to be featured in the video, make sure to subscribe and join the Discord invite link down below. This next build hack is my personal favourite because I think it just looks amazing. Placing red candles next to TNT gives you a very cool and awesome looking dynamite stick design and I can see this being used everywhere. Especially now with this update being all about caves, we're starting to see a lot of people building new cave designs. Imagine going through a mineshaft and seeing this. Candles are great, but they're a little short. This next build hack is the king of small details standing out in any build. The amount of character you can give your base by just having a candle in a pot or even some glass is huge. Glass planes play a big role in this one and so do pots and anything really that can fit underneath a candle. Again super simple, it's the kind of thing that is very heavy attention to small details but it goes a long way. This next build hack takes advantage of the two new pieces of content in this update. The lightning rod as well as the fact you can now put lava in the cauldron. You can see it in this design as it appears to show a cauldron heating up a lightning rod. You can also now make believable forgery builds in vanilla which is huge. We now come very very close to one way glass in Minecraft. Using the new tinted glass and making sure that all light is trapped, we can now watch players without them seeing us. I imagine this will be used a lot on servers, especially those that have jails. It could even be used in factions. This next build hack is a fun one. When candles are placed in a bathroom build, our mind tricks us and makes us think they're shampoo bowls. It did for me anyway, especially when I saw this image. Although it's a nice trick, you need to make sure that the place that they're actually located is clearly a bathroom, otherwise it will just look weird and they'll just see candles. If you weren't already inspired by all these candle build hacks, then here is another. You can actually place levers underneath candles, so if positioned carefully, this becomes a really cool looking candle holder design. Imagine a hallway littered with these. A player by the name of Big Boy Bigfoot created this one and I just had to show it off because I thought it was very funny but cool at the same time. Using lightning rods you can now make your very own mini guardians to creep your friends out and probably get you banned from any server. This next one is adding on to the large list of uses for copper. Just by placing vines on copper ore you're rewarded with this really pretty flowered vine design. This one's so good and I already know that come the release everyone will be doing this. Especially on castle builds, I think it'll look really good on any kind of castle or any medieval build. 
Similar to the cacti flower, we can now make some pretty awesome pumpkin stems, and really any stem for any block since we have 16 colours to play around with. When placing a green candle on top of a pumpkin or any fruit such as watermelon, you can make this really cool looking stem design. This one is amazing and I cannot wait to see people do it on their builds. It's essentially just using a lightning rod to make this very compact but high detailed grandfather clock. The creation of this one is very simple, it's just slabs and some trap doors surrounding a lightning rod but if done right can look very good in any build. And last but not least I present the underwater mine design, great for custom maps. If you enjoyed the video let me know, hopefully one of these inspired you if not all of them. There's obviously a lot of new things you can do with this new content and these are just a handful of what I saw and what I've been able to figure out. If you liked the video give it a like and drop a comment, subscribe to see more and join the discord to join the 1.17 snapshot server if you're interested. We've got two more videos on screen you should definitely check out.